Hi, this is Drew Valens with Satellite Test Prep, and today we're going to work on an ACT math question involving imaginary numbers. Imaginary numbers is one of those parts of the ACT math that goes beyond the SAT. So, it's important that we know a couple of things. Let's take a look. If the square root of 3x equals 6i, then x equals what? First of all, if you want to take a shot at this question on your own, press pause now. Okay, so, right off the bat, you must know that i squared equals negative 1. If you already knew that, great. If you didn't, remember it and commit it to memory. It will help us on this question. So let's write this out. Root 3x equals 6i. What we have to do is we have to get this i into an i squared form. That's the only way we're going to be able to turn it into a real number. As it is right now, it's just the letter i. and We don't know what to do with that. So what we can do to make i into i squared is square it. But if we square this side, we have to square everything. Then we have to square this side too. It's only fair. So what is the square root of 3x squared? Well, the square cancels out this square root, so we end up just with 3x. And what is 6i squared? Well, 6 squared is 36. And i squared is just i squared. Now we have the i squared like this. So we can substitute negative 1 in for i squared. So we have 36 times negative 1 equals 3x. Continuing down, 3x equals negative 36. And if we divide both sides by 3, because we're solving for x, 36 divided by 3 is 12, and it's negative, so x is equal to negative 12, choice E. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the notes down below.